Hey there everyone, this is Old Movie Master here with a short little video about how to properly view VHS tapes. Just as it is important to keep these things away from the sun and away from the heat, keep them in a nice cool area, it's also important if you're still viewing them, if you're only collecting them, you don't have to watch this video. But if you still view VHS tapes, it's important to watch them in the right aspect ratio. More often than not, I'm seeing people watching tapes in the wrong aspect, and I'll explain. I wanted to use Star Wars as an example, but I can't because it has copyright material. I love this movie, especially watching it on VHS. It brings uh, childhood memories. But I'm going to use instead another classic, Night of the Living Dead. And this movie, regardless of whether you're watching this movie on VHS, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming, listen up because a lot of people tend to do this. So let me click play and I'll explain. So I want you to notice this. If you're seeing the black bars on the right and on the left, that is completely normal. It's completely normal. That's exactly how you're supposed to view this film. The only way you can watch Night of the Living Dead, as it was intended by the director, is in full screen in 133. It's intended for an old-fashioned TV, and even though today we have widescreen TVs, this image, as you're seeing it right now, is correct. But, a lot of people, and I see it all the time, whether I go to a friend's house, or I'm seeing people on Instagram or YouTube, they'll do this. They'll stretch the image. And notice what happens. Everyone looks fat that's not how you watch this movie. Or they'll do this. They'll zoom in on the image. And yeah, it's taking up the whole screen, but you're cropping the image. You're cutting off more than you would think. Right now it looks pretty okay, right? It looks like it's a widescreen film. It's intended to be looked like that. That's completely wrong. The, um, if you watch more of the film, you might notice, depending on the angle of uh, how the movie was shot, you might see an, a scene where the top of the head is cropped, or you won't see something below because you just cropped the image. So don't do that. Instead, watch it like that. That's how the director intended this film to be viewed. Now, <clears throat> most VHS tapes um, actually, all VHS tapes, from what I know of, an exception of a few that are in widescreen, they're all cropped. They're all cropped to be formatted for a full-screen TV, for the old-fashioned CRT TVs. And there's some people who still have them. And if you have them, you have nothing to, to worry about. You can just pop in the VHS tape and just watch it and be completely content with the fact that you don't have to worry about any of this. But most people have, by now, 2016, these type of TVs. So just the same way when you're watching a widescreen movie where you have the black bars on the top and bottom, that's formatted for your TV, for a widescreen TV. And sometimes you won't see those bars because the aspect ratio is different. It might be a 177, so the black bars on top and bottom may not be there, but it's still a, a widescreen format. If it's 235, 240, it's too much of a, a, of a wide angle to be completely shown on the TV, so you still need some black bars on the top and bottom. So the same goes for full screen. If you're watching a movie even on DVD, like this movie, if you were to watch it on, on DVD, this movie's not available in widescreen. It's only available in full screen. So black bars on the right and left is completely normal. I'm going to use another movie, only a couple of seconds because it's copyright material. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use The Fly as an example. The Fly, from what I remember, I think it's a 177 widescreen image, and I have it on Blu-ray. And if I watch it on Blu-ray, it will take up the whole screen. Here, I have the bars on the right and left, and that's normal, that's fine. Don't zoom in on it. Uh, if you want to know why you shouldn't, again, I'm telling you, stretching the image, everyone looks fat. Zooming it in, yes, it's filling up the whole screen, but you're cropping the image. 
Notice that you don't see his head right. You don't see everything right because that's not what the director intended. And even when you're watching it, um, hold on. Hold on a second. And even when you're watching it standard, I'm going to stop it right now because that's uh, enough copyright material. And even if you're watching it standard, it is still cropped, but it's the right way of viewing a VHS tape. So that was just a little thing I wanted to mention because I see a lot of people doing this uh, all the time. And even with DVDs that are full screen. So just leave the bars alone. They're, they're fine. They're supposed to be there. So I hope this video was uh, educational and I hope you guys watch tapes the proper way now. <laughs> I mean, if you want to watch them stretch or if you want to watch them zoom and that's your thing, go for it. Uh, that's that's completely fine. It's just, just more than anything educational just to let you know that this is the right way of viewing it. So don't complain that you're seeing images stretched or you're seeing uh, you're not seeing the image right because you're zooming in on it. It's because it's not intended to be viewed that way. So anyway guys, until next time, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comments down below. Thank you.